All right, you two. Today we're going to play some Bant Spirits. This is 74 of the 75 that Dylan Han and Allie Warfield played. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. I'm not super great at that. But Allie Warfield played at the Invitational. Each one of them were one card off, and it was the second Planeswalker in the sideboard. I believe Dylan played two Gideons, and Allie played one Gideon and one Jace, according to to the website. So we are going to give their decks a try today. Motos tweaking out. We've just barely started the stream doing. Yeah, the Twitter sphere was pretty good today. There were some people that were kind of, you know, dumb about the um dumb about what was going on. Well we might have to restart the video here. Oh we're good. Okay. So, to kind of go over the deck a little bit, in the recent weeks, the deck has morphed into playing Reflector Mages in or, and uh, just to have better companies, um, a cut down on Path to Exiles. It's probably better than the creature matchups. I'm not a, I'm not a Vile pro, but the Reflector Mage always kicks the tar out of me whenever I play Death Shadow, so I'm assuming that's why they've incorporated it. Uh, something I like about this list already is that there's no Geists in the main deck. I was playing lists when I was thinking about playing this deck that had sometimes, you know, 14, 15, three drops in the main deck with the Reflector Mages and the Geists, and I just like how that's not there. But besides that, let's play as, uh, as I'm no super wizard about this deck, so I might as well not, uh, not elaborate on it too, too much. So let's get in here to competitive modern. Dance spirits. Oh no. What is going on? My moto broke. Moto, what's what's going on? I had to restart Moto before we even start playing. Other products. What do we got here? Quantity one. 90 play points. All right, we're going to open up some chests. Show me play points. There's 20. 10 more. 10 more. Come on. It's not a. Okay, wait, we're in it. All right, let's start. Competitive Modern League. Yeah, so I'm not a super like vile pro. I played humans in one SCG, a team event. I did pretty well. Um, did pretty well in that event. We, I think that it was a team event. I think I went six and two and kind of felt unlucky to go six and two. But so I'm excited to play the different vile deck. Give this thing a try. Yeah, Tamio seems sweet. Seems really good in the mirror. Like absolutely nuts in the mirror. Just like the old, how it was really good in the Bant Company decks, back when they were in Standard. Alright, so we're on the play. We have a Noble Hierarch into a Supreme Phantom. I think I'm going to keep this hand. I think that, like, we if we draw a land, we're in really good shape. We draw a Noble Hierarch, we're in pretty good shape. I think the amount of decks in modern that, ha that play like removal spell on one to punish me for this hand are few and far between. So I think in the dark we're going to keep this. And I could eat my words here, but probably get blue-green so that if our hierarch gets killed we can play a Mausoleum Ronderer. And if we hit a land, we get to go Wanderer and Supreme Phantom. Nice. 
So now we play this. We can counterspell anything that um, goes to kill our Mausoleum Wanderer. And then we can copy it, or we can like reflect and raise a Tarmogoyf next turn if this is Abzan. Man, my thing's already lagging. What is going on, Moto? This is like a black white token stack? What is going on here? Bitter Blossom, okay. All right, well, I guess we're just going to try to beat over the top of this Bitter Blossom. Play this. Seems like this Bitter Blossom is going to be kind of annoying, but, like, maybe we can tempo them out. What's going to suck is if they, like, just do an endless wall of tokens. Let's play this. We're going to copy the Phantom. Always yield. Crack for six. Likely Reflector Mage a token next turn. And then crack again. And hopefully we can just tempo him out of the game here. We've already got him on the front foot, on the back foot. Like a Lingering Souls would be kind of annoying, but... I should have left my Hierarch untapped to be able to path and not take like three points of damage, which might be relevant. I don't know. <clears throat> we don't want to, I mean, the thing is we didn't have to leave ourselves susceptible to taking a lot of damage. So, and we did. So that was not good. Here, just collective brutality. So, what do we got here? Target creature, then just gain and drain. They ditch a Soren. So, we're not going to counter this. Wow. I got to restart Moto. Like, this is just wild. Yeah, I'm going to close the program here. Sorry about this. We're having all kinds of difficulties to start. We're not going to counter this because it kills the Supreme Phantom, anyways, because of uh, like Supreme, the uh, Phantasmal Image text. Sorry about this, this is just already tweaking out. We'll have the deck, the deck list right here. Closes many things in the background here. Sorry about this. This is just old Moto being Moto. Close all windows here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Put this up. This is the deck list, anyways. Came for Dylan, staying for Cat. Cat's not, uh, I'm not streaming with Cat tonight. That might get held off because we're, as we're both. We're both available. Uh, we're both not available at the same time for a little while. We're having the old Magic Online problems already start. Gosh, it'll be sweet to get Arena on, to get Modern on Arena. Be very, very sweet. What is going on with Moto? Loading card. All right, looks like Moto's back here. 
You really can't KC on Arena. You can't KC on Moto. So you just screwed on both fronts there. All right, looks like we're getting back here. Moto. Moto, you're such a high quality program. Come on. Yeah, you can end up one through games in 10 minutes on the clock. Yeah, I guess you can, yeah. I had such a hard time streaming it last night. Let's make this. Okay, we're just going to let this happen. Yeah, it was tough yesterday. So they just gained and drained me. We fetch a tap land. Probably just Reflector Mage this. Just to uh, push more damage. Oh, okay. What does that do? They block. We crack in for three. If we go image, I kind of want to go reflector mage, path something, and then I can like crack for three. And then if I draw something else next turn, I can go like two drop plus two drop. Yeah. It is nice that this Reflector Mage, like, pushes through some damage. And then we can always just Reflector Mage the... Our Phantasmal Image the Reflector Mage. If we need to. Their Bitter Blossom is slowly clocking themselves, just draining them out. And this also, like, bolsters our battlefield a little bit. The only reason, something that I could, didn't really think about that might have been good is if it was right to copy the Mausoleum Wanderer. So if our opponent plays Lingering Souls, we can still, um, we can counter it and still have a Mausoleum Wanderer, but that also sounds suboptimal, to say the least. They're not going to do anything. So play Wanderer. Then we can just image the Reflector Mage again if we want to. And then bounce this. Then we get in for three, four, five, six. Put them to five. They untap and go to four. Yeah, I like that. So let's just, let's go here. Play this first. Then we can like path at their end, the end of their turn too. They're probably sitting on a removal spell here, wondering when they're supposed to time it. Here comes a fatal push, probably. Path to exile. Okay. Yes. Get a planes. I could just mage this and then crack for four. I kind of like doing that. And then just getting like aggressive. But I don't know if that's super right to do or not. Thank you, uh, Greekachu. And we'll turn them sideways. And we're still sitting on a path to exile, so we're in we're in good shape. 
And we've got double force bike. And this uh, bitter blossom is just slowly going to kill them. Even if, like, we kind of peter out, they have to, like, we have a removal spell for the Shambling Men. So they just have to gain life somehow. And I don't see exactly how they're going to be able to do that. The Tamiyo should be pretty sweet here. I'll just scoop it up. Okay. So I don't think I want any of my white removal. But I can cut my two paths for sure. We probably can cut fan, uh, Phantasmal Image as well, as that's the only card that kind of destroys me. So we want this. I think we want our Thalias. I think we want the Gideon. Um, cards I'm not really interested in are Image and Path. But I don't really want any of my other cards either. We still have 8, 8, 13, 18, plus 12 is 30. We still have, we really have 30 company hits? Jesus. 12, 24. Yeah, we got 34 company hits. Um, do I want to shave on, there are these, like, these can randomly kill, like, I don't know what this deck would have, like, intangible virtues, like, they can just come down and smoke, uh, and smoke, uh, like, anthems and things like that, which is probably better than a phantasmal image if they're going to keep in, like, you know, collect it, or they're going to keep in, because it makes brutality really good. No wonder we got one, two. So cut this maybe for one of these. It's another three drop though. I don't know if we want mono three drops. Reflector Mage. Night of Autumn might be better than Reflector Mage. Those we saw there, Reflector Mage was, was kind of good at just beating through flyers. I'll bring in one. We probably actually can even shave, run the draw. Like, they're going to path us and ramp us. So we can probably shave a mana creature, especially against a grindy deck. I'll try this. This might be too many three drops. Keep the self of spirits in case they have damnations. Though if they have Lily on the last hope, that's going to be pretty annoying. Just like standard back in the day when Self of Spirit just got bodied by Last Hope. Just kind of sideboarding, sideboarding on the fly here. Don't really have a good idea of exactly how to do this. So I'll keep this hand. Just want to keep any seven that we can. Thought sees. Probably takes. Probably takes either Captain or Gideon. Gideon, the motherfucker of Zendikar. Had my first two, my first two good tournament results. I top aided two regionals with uh, Abzan and Modern when I had two Gideons in the top of my deck, and uh, and then I had I played that green white aggro deck in Standard that played Smuggler's Copter. Gotta get a bitter blossom me. I think if they play bitter blossom, I'm just gonna slam this night of autumn. Oh, they brutality me. With just two modes. Just one mode. Now they play the swamp. Okay. So let's just play this. Taking a lot of damage from our lands. But it's not like this is going to be a re... You know, like... 
it's probably not going to come down to life swings like, you know. How do I have so many cards? They're on the play. I guess we have a creature in play. And they traded one for one twice. It's not like they four cards. All right, there's the shamble shamble. So I think I'm going to run out this Drog Skull Captain next turn. Target creature gets minus two, minus two. Okay. I could just make a big Knight of Autumn. I kind of want to hit a Bitter Blossom. I think I'm just going to make a big Knight of Autumn. This Drog Skull Captain is not really that great, especially in the face of like a potential Lingering Souls flashback, like we can't really do anything. So let's just make a big knight. Put two plus one plus one counters on it. And now at least, like if they go play Lingering Souls, they can't beat through this knight. It's just a big thing. There's nothing really special about this thing. I don't really want to run out any of my other cards. You gonna field me into a revolt? What do we got? All right, that kind of sucks. Um, probably just get an island. We don't have that many green cards left in our deck. Yeah, let's we'll just get an island. We have more blue cards than anything else. And they just go like Bitter Blossom, jokes on you. No, oh, Fatal Push, okay. Well, now we're just going to play this. I'd like to save the Reflector Mage because we're going to be able to get a token with it eventually. And if they path this, then whatever. All right. I will play this game with you. So we're playing into a potential sweeper by playing out this reflector mage. But like, I have to shock to do it to take two, but I'm going to take two from this regardless. So I think I'm just going to run this out here. I don't really want my opponent to just fire up their shambling vent and then just kind of get us. Like, at least now, like, we can block it. We kind of get browned by a... Um, a sweeper there a little bit. And now we're just going to like attack. We're not going to commit anything more to the board because they could play like a damnation or something like that. If they're like playing flashback lingering souls, we can like bounce the souls and then attack with a reflector mage. If they do anything cute with like an artifact or enchantment, we can Knight of Autumn. Okay. So we can just Reflector Mage this Knight or this Vampire. And then we can just like send this here, send this at them. I really want to get this Soren off the board because I don't want my opponent to. Hey, Ray. I really don't want my opponent to go like play and fly back Lingering Souls plus their Soren. So we don't really have Spell Queller up. So I could Spell Queller or Lingering Souls and then. And 
And then the spell caller has indestructible. What are they waiting for? I think I'm gonna play Reflector Mage and bounce this, and then send this at the at Soren, send this at them. So they push this. Now I'm gonna send both of them at Soren. Because we, we're turning on Revolt. I guess they can turn on Revolt anyways. Oh, no, I played the wrong creature. Derp. Literally talking about my plays. And just played the wrong one. Shoot. I was like, I, I said Reflector Mage and clicked on Knight of Autumn, which is great. I don't really want to trade my Soren for this knight here. This is our first, first good one of the night. It also makes sense for me to just go um, to go one and one because they can enable revolt on their own, which it looks like they're going to. Okay. Yeah, so I just like super fucked this turn up. And now here comes like the nightmare scenario of play and flashback lingering souls. One, two, three, four. What? Destroy all non-creature tokens. Okay. Yeah, we'd be in such better shape if we'd gotten rid of that. If we'd done that right, but we did not. So now I'm just going to yield spell color something. They'll probably attack, quell, then bounce this, and then have Reflector Mage check this Shambling Vent. I think we're still like in a decent spot, even though I completely messed this game up. I think that's good enough to hit. They would need like exactly path to exile here. Where are these? Where are the shadows in this build? Not quite here. So now do we just go for it? Like we just bounce, play a thing. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just going to go bounce this. Hit this. I kind of want to hold this. It's not really doing anything right now. And I can do everything that I want to do. Except... Um, Except, like, go company. No, I should have played it there because this checks this. That's stupid. I'm all over the place. My creatures have limited words on them. And it would just be one more power, yeah. Really on the veil. Okay. I will sack my Reflector Mage. Alright, so my phone's out of cards. They're going to crack me for five. Put me, and I'm going to fetch down to three. So it could be in a little trouble. And again, if we had, they're, gonna, they're just going to keep, okay. If we had the Supreme Phantom in here, we got two more life. Yeah, I just, I just messed this all up. But I was like playing around like too much, which is probably, I probably shouldn't be doing that. I do my math wrong also. Okay, nice. Play this. Play this. We're going to attack Liliana because we don't want to have to commit like a huge attack to it next turn because we don't want to lose anything here. OK, 
Okay, opponent plays Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls is kind of big. Something like a Tamiya would be nice. Reflector Mage. So I actually Reflector Mage this and then just attack with the Spell Queller. And they, do, they don't get anything out of it. So, man, this Reflector Mage has been like really good against this token deck, which I didn't think that it would be. And we're just going to send it. We're going to send it with the spell color again next turn because it takes another blocker for them to kill it. And we don't really want to attack with our, stream, our Supreme Phantom and trade two spirits for one. My best hit would be probably Tamiyo. And I would just plus on my Reflector Mage and my spell color and attack. I could also plus on like two of their creatures and attack with everything. But that's four, eight, ten. It's not even lethal, so we're not going to do that. I think they drew a spell because they waited. Draw another Lingering Souls. No. Again, I'm just going to attack with this. I should have played out my Hierarch. It's not going to change the... The Exalted doesn't change the clock, but I should have just played it. Anyways. So I guess my opponent drew a land. If they played another land there. I don't think I played this game very well. It still appears like I'm going to win, so that could just be, you know, a plus to the deck. So what happens if I attack with everything? If I attack with everything and they have a removal spell for, they'd have to have two removal spells because they have to go block, they have to block at least one of these, which means one gets through. But if they kill my Sorin, then I'm, kill the Sorin, then I'm dead. So I don't think I'm actually going to attack with everything. But I do think I'm just going to attack with these two. Because they would need removal spell. No, we're not being a removal spell anyways if we attack with those. If we attack with everything, they have to block. They don't have to block. I should have just... I should just attack with this. Now I'm going to lose that on a point because like I'm not thinking over this well. I haven't played a combat math deck in a little while and I'm... Not doing super well with it here. Dude, we're not playing well, Ray. I gotta think about combat math and shit. Well, they they might have settled yet. So the range would be annoying. I don't know, this is like my first match with the deck. So we're learning. All right, what do you got, man? So I don't really want to attack with my spell queller because I want them to chump block something else or be incentivized to kill some, something else. I don't want to attack with the reflector mage because they'll just go like gain life. So what I think I'm gonna do. It doesn't really matter if I play this Hierarch or not. That, that's fair. See, I'm just going to attack with the Supreme Phantom because the Supreme Phantom's lethal. Because I don't really have an attack that doesn't expose me. I'll leave this in my hand. If I can find a way to pump.
Yeah, see, we missed out on that point. Now both Supreme Phantoms will be lethal. Our opponent plays and flashes back a Lingering Souls. We're going to have to do some combat math here. Which this is not what I'm used to doing. So it could get a little ugly. Dude, what do you got? Do you have like settle the records? Like what is going on here? So I play the Supreme Phantom. I now can attack with two of these. And then I can actually attack with all three. And even if they settle the wreckage me, I don't really have anything good going on. I'm going to play these two. I'm going to play the Supreme Phantom. And I'm going to attack with both of these because they're both lethal. And now it's like you got to show me a removal spell here. All right, they just scooped it up. So they didn't have anything. I just played around too much stuff. Which is not good. Let me go grab some water, queue into the next match, and I'll be right back. Look at this. Deck so good, play like garbage, still win. It's just that easy. Hmm. I want my slippers. Not yet, buddy. One more match. So Reflector Mages were great there. The fact that they could, like, nug some tokens and be a body to attack with. Well, I wanted to play the Phantom so that both of my creatures were lethal. And I didn't have to expose the Spell Queller to, I don't know, if we're, if, like, if Settle the Wreckage is what we're worried about, then I think that was the only card that we lose to. There, yeah, that just kills, I mean, like, beats us up pretty bad. No, I just took the list from, from what they had. The hard part is like, what do you cut for Rattle Chain, you know? Like, I think Reflector Mage is better than Rattle Chain. I know Spellcaller is. I know Supreme Phantom is. I'm pretty sure, you know, Wander is. Selfless Spirit, maybe. Maybe that's the card you cut. Like, uh, the card quality in the deck is so good. So we're playing against Shock Tropa, which means we're likely playing against Mono Blue Tron, as that's what he does. So we have to keep a pretty aggressive hand here. Our opponent is a Moto Grinder. I don't know how many lists. They're probably looking up my information right now. Let's see here. Search. They only have three. They used to play, they must have used to play a lot more. I don't think this hand's good enough. If we know what our opponent's doing, <clears throat> I don't think this hand's good enough. I think I would keep this in the dark, though. So I'm just going to, I'm going to keep this hand. Because our opponent might not be doing what they do. We have Vile on one, which is exactly where we want it. Okay. 
my draw was suboptimal. We have a pretty good sideboard for this deck. All right. We might, uh, this might be quick. Always yield. And then we will say yes. All right. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. They might get an island. Yeah, they didn't. So they got they got a blue source cuz that's what that deck wants to do. Yield until next end step. We're going to put this Wanderer in. Okay, so they repeal the vial, which is slightly annoying, but not the end of the world as we know it. Get in here for four. Go to Eugene. What do you got? Talisman, sure. Whoa. Nothing. That's likely not the right land for me to get. It's probably Breeding Pool. Yeah, you can thirst. A lord here would be nice. Just something to be. I mean, we get him for five, which is a lot of damage. But they're also drawing a million cards. We're getting like infinite time to set up. Yes. Selfless Spirit's not bad. Play this. Now we crack for seven. My opponent remands this. I'm just going to play it again. And then hope that we just... Whatever. If he oogans me, he oogans me. What they're thinking about? So they must have like a remand. They must have a remand or like a dismember. Or is this a gifts? Condescend for three. So if we counter this, we only lose one point of power and our opponent doesn't get to scry. And then next turn we have three. We have more in play. So because this is five versus four. My opponent is talking to me. I don't really want to listen to my opponent. Um, I'm going to sack this because they might have something like an O stone. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm interested in it. I like the deck. I just haven't had, just haven't played legacy in a little while there. We got the ballista. So if this is a ballista, this is a ballista for six. Jeez, that's like my entire board. So if I path this now, 
There's one ping on the stack. Because now they have to use an extra one. I don't think there's a way that we can actually. That was probably stupid to do because they're just going to continue to do this. So, one. Yeah, that was likely the right thing to do, Ray. No, that was super right. I'm, I'm a big dum dum. Yeah, that was so. Oh, man, I'm all over the place. Because now he just gets my entire board. And I'm just like screwed. I should have sacked it with him on the stack and then pathed it. You were right, Ray. Because he just gets my whole board anyways. Because now he might not even... Yeah, I fucked this up so bad. Exactly, which is alright. Yeah, I messed this up so bad, Ray. Because now, like, they're just going to kill this thing. Yeah, I fucked that up. So I just four for one myself. Yeah, that was stupid. Uh, I kind of want to do this now while I don't have counter spells up. And, like... Now we can go double captain. Pass through. I'm going to take this up to three. Actually, I'm going to crack. No, I'm going to take this up to three because if I crack this, I can still play a two drop. It's going to be wild if we win this game. So we're going to put this up to three. Yes. And we're just completely losing our minds here. What is that? Still just a two turn clock. So I think I'm going to hold this phantasmal image to be able to kill two blockers. Our opponent is digging. If they like Mind Slaver lock me, then I'm going to flash this Reflector Mage in and path it. What do you got? What are you waiting here for? What are you waiting here for? Our sideboard's pretty sweet against this deck. Like we look here on our sideboard. We have three stony silences. We have these three Knight of Autumns and Damping Spheres. If we're on the play, we're probably gonna bring these Thalias in too. It's a pretty good setup. 
for the home team. What do you do? You just have to mind slaver lock me here, right? This is three, six. They still can get me, but there's no sense violating this reflector mage. So, because we can still go like path of, if they have a blocker. We can still go path a blocker and all right, they're okay. So now they're just they're looking for draws here. All right, there we go. Okay, sideboarding. Cards I know I want. I want Damping Sphere. I want Stony Silence. So he doesn't doesn't seem quite as good as, as, as uh, against their deck though, and I think I want these Knight of Autumn. I think I want ten cards. So I'm bringing in five of these. I kind of want to shave on some companies. Supreme Phantasm Image does not seem that great. Um, I wonder if we're supposed to cut our vials if we bring in Stony Silence. Probably. And then we cut path. We still have Reflector Mage to deal with Worm Coil Engine. Or Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, well, Solemn's not going to block there. Let's see what this looks like. Make sure we have enough hits. Sort by converted mana cost. So we've got. Oh, we need two more in here. We need two more cards. Now, Phantasm just doesn't seem good. And they're going to be have ways to be able to find it. Let me see here. What do we got? We've got nine. Nine plus three is 12. Plus four is 17. Plus 15 is 32. Oh, we have 31 creatures. 31 hits is probably enough to have all the companies in. And then we're going to like sideboard a little differently on the draw. Hey, Brad, thank you very much for the host. Um, God, this is just like mono three drops. Hey. <laughs> Philly. I'm gonna keep these in. Well, then we're not blocking very much. I'm gonna bring these in. Hey, stop. Stop, buddy. I guess we want paths for reflective mages. So I'm gonna bring these paths in and then figure something else out on the play. Bring these values in here. Isn't it changed here? What do we got? I thought I updated it to Band Spirits. I updated the cardboard live, right? Oh, what a tilt. I have no idea how I'm supposed to sideboard. I know Thalia is going to be good on the play. Phil's just angry that he doesn't have his dinner yet. Okay. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Like we're on the draw. We have a hierarch. We have the potential to be very explosive. 
I'm gonna get breeding pool. If they dismember my hierarchy, that's gonna suck. But like if we hit a land, this hands the nut. So this is a chalice. No walking bliss though. No. So beating. Yeah, I should bring up cats. It's not cats list, but I should be able to. I can at least like work with what she's doing here. All right, that's good. So I think it's actually better to get the Supreme Phantom down. Like Stony Silence isn't going to do a lot. Stony Silence would have been nice last turn. Oh, shit. That's the second time I've done that tonight. I've like clicked on the wrong blue thing. It's all over the place. It's all right. We're likely in trouble no matter what here. But I'm just freaky all over the place tonight. Yeah, we're playing against Blue Tron. Which Shock Tropa plays like nothing but Blue Tron. Well, they win. You got a blue blue source. Trinket Mage. So Trinket Mage goes and gets Engineered Explosives. A map. All right. Well, I'm just gonna play this. Shut off one of their draws. And then next turn we're gonna crack them for a million points of damage. So also shuts off like a walking blista that would just like murder both of our mausoleum wanderers. All right, so I ditched the map. They now have Tron. So we're just going to hope there's no Eugene. So we're going to try to kill this. Dismember, they've got a lot of mana, so we're just going to let it happen. We have hit them for four. There's actually an argument to pathing our own thing there, which maybe I should have done. Because if we path my own thing there, next turn I can go double two drop and like kill them if they have nothing. Just gonna take this. Worm coil engine is fine. Path the worm coil. We can only have two counter spells here. All right, they're just letting it go. So that just, if this works out, that does just kill them. So let's go here, here, play this first. Because there's likely a condescend in our future. And now we just go for it. It's likely it's counterspelled. Hey, Ginger. If I leave with the Lord, it's lethal either way, right? Right, Teddy? Appreciate everybody coming over from uh, Ginger's stream. Playing some Bant tonight. Yeah, we needed, we needed one more. That's why I was talking about pathing my own creature last turn. Hope everyone on Ginger's stream is having a good time. I hope his stream went well. Tonight we're playing some Modern. 
command. Okay. This is okay because it's nice that we have like a second. Like I don't really know what my opponent's outs are here without an active um, ballista. Because <coughs> I have to count this up here. Because like this is three cyclonic rift. That is an out. Okay. So we're going to lead on Stony Silence because we want we want Stony Silence in play because of um, Walking Ballista. They have a Ballista. They have access to Ballista right here. Thirst for knowledge, okay. No more blue up, so our stony is going to resolve. Then we're going to play stony, and then probably play double wanderer, so that if either two of our spirits connect and they don't have a removal spell, then we get them next turn. Because they've already, they've not played a land. No, they have. No, that was a while, that was a couple turns ago. What do we got here? They discard piles when they play the island. Okay. All right, so let's just cast. We need to have double blue up and a white, so we have to tap this canopy. Because then we play both of these. Play the Wanderer. Play the Wanderer. That's not good. So they've got X equals two, so we can't have them counter this. So now they just upkeep, bring back Walking Ballista. They can Ballista to the moon. And they've got us here 12. Yeah. It's well played from our opponent. Yeah. Yep, that's well played. That's very well played from our opponent. They just kind of like, they dug their outs, used their draw spells. Good on them. I appreciate all the follows coming through there. The stream tonight. Pulling it up here. Searsist, uh, Hagen, Machiri, you know, and, the, and, and Neil Drox. I appreciate that. So now that we're on the play, we want these Thalias for sure. And I think I want to shave. We want to shave on these Reflector Mages. Yeah, I don't think Reflector Mage is very good. They have Trinket Mage, and everything just goes back into their hand. I think we're going to do this. Like, we might want to cut A Company. Like, we could cut A Company and keep A Reflector Mage in to deal with, like, a big Ballista. If we have a, um, a Stony Silence in play. Which I don't hate, because Company is just going to cost more because of the Thalia. Now nah, it just seems kind of low impact. Especially when we have like Knight of Autumns that can kill um, big Reflector Mages, or big uh, whatever they are. Okay. It's taking that screen at the edge. Uh, I'm on iPhone. I do not know their Mitch, Mitch Lincoln. I'm not sure how that works out. <clears throat> would like to play first and even though we have a hate piece I think this hand is a I think this hands a mulligan it's just not aggressive like this is gonna come down but they have plenty of ways to deal with it and it's not as good as stony silence damning spear might not even be good against them 
So I think I'm, I'm going to ship this. I think his hand is okay, and I'm going to keep it on six. Like, Knight of Autumn might be able to get us out of something here. I just didn't feel like my last hand was going to was gonna keep it. I don't think... The more I think about it, the less I think that I should have um, Damping Sphere in my deck. Because they seem to, like, not be as as all in on the lands. I don't think we need this second company. Right? Yeah, we're looking for... I guess... Now we need a land. The second company is not bad because we're already doing something on two, but we'd like to have a three drop that's better than this. So I'm just going to put this on the bottom. I should have put it on top to make them think about it because I'm going to fetch anyways. This is going to find me Temple Garden. Huh. Then we can just play a big Knight of Autumn here if my opponent doesn't do anything. Which now I think I'm just going to play Captain because Captain is... Captain still leaves me over open to Dismember. But I'd like to be able to do something with this Knight of Autumn. Like this Knight of Autumn can shut off a blue source from my opponent. Okay. Because they play Talismans and shit. I'm gonna company on their upkeep because we're in. Like, I don't think they have sorcery speed removal, and we don't. If they have like another spatial contortion, we want them to do it on their turn, and we want this to resolve. First F and M. Hey, how's it going, Jake? So we might as well just take Drog Skull Captain, and I guess Spell Queller. We're gonna take a Knight of Autumn, but they can respond to the trigger and kill it. But then they wouldn't be killing Drogskull Captain, which is also good. And now we can sit back and hold a company. Maybe I should have I should have held a company because of the spirit because of the spell color. This is like the little tricks that I don't know exactly about this deck are like showing up. Okay, repeal Drogskull Captain. That is okay. They do cycle. All right, so we're just gonna night of bottom this. I really don't want to get got by like a repeal into this. So let's just let's just hit this because. Like if they cyclonic riff me, then all of a sudden that's online. I just don't want. I don't want to get, I'm gonna turn off our yield until next end step. But I think that with that O stone is in play, it's just gonna lead to bad things for me. Eight mana is a lot. Let's take four. Let's get this. So now I'm just gonna attack with my spell queller. And then I think I'm just going to shoot this with the Knight of Autumn. Because if they go to like bounce this to do something to this thing, then I get to replay the Stony Silence. I get kind of browned by like a remand here. If they have remand and repeal though, but I don't really want to give them that much credit. Just for man, okay. And maybe I'm playing the game, playing this game like a little wrong and not really playing like enough of a flash game, which is what I should be doing. They have a Eugene. Eugene is solid.
Now I think I'm just dead. I can't just, I can't never beat this Ugin in a million years. Right? Go here. Shoot this. Play a bird. I guess we'll play it out. They're going to deal four to me. Then it's just minus three. I'm pretty sure that we we just can we just can never beat a new game in a, excuse me in a million years. Play this to help with the mana. Make so that if they want to get rid of both of them, they have to go down three. I should have left out my basic because they have tech edge, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that I cannot beat a new game. But we'll take a couple more draw sets. We have a company. All right, I keep my bird. Go through this turn. You can be doing it alone. It's going to be tough. But with the Drog Skull Captain, then only having two cards, I do have a shot. I don't think we can beat this. We're gonna we're gonna scoop this one up. We are gonna scoop this one up. Should have tapped the bird, probably. It's my first time playing vile decks in a while, so I'm probably gonna miss like a couple vile tricks or like you're supposed to sequence this way versus this way. Mm -hmm. I love playing that guy when I play Death Shadow. Because, like, that guy's kind of a jerk. And I just, like, torch him when I play Death Shadow. And he just salts off so hard. I think I can keep his hand because I want to play. But besides that, I don't think it's that good. I'm playing it's Bob Wong. I guess I'm gonna go shock here. Being mono blue and they got great draws hard. Incoming mirror? Is that what you think? If it's a mirror, I think we're already ahead. We have a vial, right? It's like whoever vials first. No, he's playing Death Shadow. This will be interesting. Oh no, he's playing Mill? Holy shit. I feel like I, I feel like I should be able to beat this deck. Always yield. Yes. A two drop of a gas. Tilt. Mill is. Actually, I should turn off auto yields. I should fetch in response to this, so I have lands. Yeah, I'm actually just going to do this now. It, it opens me up, but I need to use my mana anyways. I don't want to get milled. I don't want my lands to get milled out here. So I'm actually going to get this. I'm going to get the breeding pool. 
I'm not copying the crab. Beer with two guns. Yeah, I would assume I'm kind of in trouble here. I guess I opened up a missions briefing turn. Right, like you can go missions briefing archive trap. We were gonna get that was gonna get us no matter what though. All right, we have 18 cards left in our deck. I probably have to, like, just vile. I probably have to bounce this crab. Do I have any lands? Plains Forest are gone. Hollow Fountain's gone. Island's gone. I don't even have any lands. Scoop them up. We got milled, ladies and gentlemen. It was kind of a slow hand. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan that. What I have? I had Vile Reflector Mage. I had Vile Reflector Spellcaller Company and three lands. And that was on the play, right? Thalia seems very good. Knight of Autumn seems good. Cards that don't seem good. Reflector Mage does not seem good. And we probably can trim on one company because we're bringing in Thalias. Probably want enough Path Exiles to be able to handle that crab. But then maybe, maybe I should be... No, Self of Spirit's probably not very good. The Wanderer's good. Savage is decent? What do you mean, Savage? Do you mean the Sphere? I guess Sphere stops, like, missions briefing shenanigans, if that's what you're talking about. Recipes just shuts off missions briefing, right? Like, that doesn't seem that good. I mean, I'd much rather just be aggressive. I do like this Damping Sphere, though. No, that's also stupid. Yeah, I think we're just going to go like this. Hey, Tannen. Just playing some spirits. We're one on one. Got beat up by a Tron deck, which was not good. Special Revolt, Extra Creative Effect. Creeping Corrosion. Ancestral Recall. Oh! It's secretly a graveyard deck. It was a mono blue Tron deck. By the way. It was like Shock Tropo or whatever. The guy that always plays mono blue. Yeah, we got a mulligan this, I think. Like, if we hit a second land drop, it's so good. But even if we don't hit a second land drop, we can play another Hierarch. I think the upside on this is just so good that I think it's worth... Like, we get to go Hierarch Beats. That makes sense. No, that makes sense. I, I didn't I didn't see it there, Poke, Poke Sun. What do we think, chat? I think I'm going... Like, this card is probably our best card in the matchup. This beats in Snaring Bridge. I can play another Noble. Like, they're probably not going to have that many removal spells. I think I'm actually going to keep this. I'm going to keep this and, like, die on my shield. Because if we hit a second land, it's nuts. It's been a while since I played a deck where you had to do, like, combat math. And it definitely hurt me the first game. Probably could have sequenced better against Tron as well. What a tilt. We would have got there. Dude, it's so nice that we don't have to fetch there. And now we can just sit behind this spell queller. No, yeah, that makes sense for sure. We're going to pass. 
I'm going to spell color anything, then play the draw skull captain on my main phase, likely. Like, we could just run the draw skull captain out, but they had a fetch land up, and they could get it. Tanner, you should be playing this guy. This is Bob. This is Bob. This is your your format here. Should have lined you guys up for a different one. And we're just gonna play this spell caller here. Blue. Flash it in. So we can missions briefing. Okay. I think we get island. So if they kill this noble hierarch, that I can at least cast my phantasmal image. As mopey as that sounds. Okay, so he does archive track me. What's he going to do to me next turn? I don't really think he's going to do anything to me next turn. So I think we're actually just going to draw skull captain him. Crack. Then next turn we can hold up spell color and just attack for five. Flash it in. And it's then copy. Because this is three, five. It'll be eight from the spell queller. Copy the Drog Skull Captain will be plus three more is 11. It isn't in Staring Bridge, doesn't even do anything. Are we going to get Crypt Incursion? Yeah. You guys were right. You all were right about that one. I was proven wrong. Just gonna play this, then play this, copy the drug skull captain. Visions from your own. Draw a card if a graveyard has more than 20 cards in it. Draw three cards instead. All right, you can cycle. So we are going to crack them for 4, 7, 10, 13 a turn with, like, spell color backup. And we can beat an ensnaring bridge, which is important. Okay. We have another one, too. I feel like he could have sequenced better there, though. Like, if he'd, he'd have had more lands, if he would have just... It's good we're not searching, also. One, two, three, four. This is just an archive trap. I kind of want to counter this. Two cards, 13. We'll have 20 cards left in our deck. There's a chance that like we're not going to be able to counter anything else. This is 4, 7, 10, 12. It's still a two-turn clock either way. Yeah, I'm going to counter this. We kind of beat up by a fatal push here. Like if they have fatal push into enough, then we get in trouble. We could get spell queller. We can't even get damnation because of spell queller. Yep. Okay. So we want the. I. I was wrong. We want the. We want the answers to the graveyard here.
Yeah, the push wasn't very good. So, I want these rest in pieces. If I have these rest in pieces, I've got one, two, three, four, five. It might just be cut company. Push, I, I meant if he pushes the, if he pushes the hierarch, he goes push hierarch, second main phase, damnation. Then we we got got there. That's what I was worried about. I think I'm going to go like this. I just don't think, I think the companies are slow on the draw. Yeah, we have just enough answers here. I'm going to try this. It could be just that also Path to Exile is not very good, but then Reflection Mage on the draw is also slow. Yeah, but Fatal Push Hierarch into Damnation did get us, though. So that that is like that is something we had to fade. And I don't think we could beat that. Unless we just didn't, unless we let them Archive Trap us. I think I'm going to keep this hand. We get one Tamiyo. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what Allie and Dylan were talking about. Because Allie played a Gideon and a Jace in the Invitational. Dylan played two Gideons. And that was just the card they were thinking about. I think this is a hierarch turn, because, like, yeah, I think I'm going to play Noble. Yeah, I mean, I was going to play Noble after I played Vile, but I'm not pathing this on one, I don't think. I actually question how good my hand was, now that I think about it. So now I can just go Vile, Wanderer, Path, which I kind of like. Just doing their upkeep. I doubt they have counter spells here. So let's play the Vile. No, I'm not going to crack a fetch unless we... I don't think we're going to have to. So let's play this Wanderer. I'm going to upkeep path this. I don't have a path. I'm so stupid. This is a different white card. I'm all over the place tonight. That's like the second time that I've done something like that. That I've like thought I've had a card that I didn't have. I didn't even... I got a good night. I got a good sleep last night too. Yeah, exactly. Like I got I got sleep last night and I still missed it. The nice thing is this moral knot's gonna do work. Get it together. Yeah, I, I slept I even slept well last night. Like I don't I don't I'm just like losing it all over the place. I need to feed Phil after this match. Alright, so now we're gonna get milled. My clock is kind of anemic. Though I am going to play a bunch of Selfless Spirits. Okay, Trap, you got it. A double Archive Trap. Okay. 12 cards left in my deck. This isn't good. Yes. Play this. Crack for five.
I mean, we have a good clock, but like they have four cards in the hand. We only have 11 cards left in our deck. Eight cards now. We're through all of our Knight of Items, so we're just like stone dead to a glimpse. All right, they got it. They got it. Maybe I was supposed to. I, I spelt a ton the last two days. I had so much energy for my stream today. It was so positive. I saw you were streaming. I couldn't I couldn't get to it at work. I saw the alerts. All right, I got to feed my dog. So let me put the deck list up here. I'm going to go feed Phil. And then, go to, and then we'll get back into another game. Baby boy, do you want dinner? Do you want dinner? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Your tie for sex for favorite part of the day. here yeah it's Phil's tied for favorite part of the day it's so funny there's something that he does like we taught him to be like very uh, to listen to us like no matter what so he doesn't even eat his food unless he has permission so like we put the food in there and then he sits by his food and just looks at us and then we just like do something that's like okay you know, and then he just starts going to town. But it's cute. I like this deck. Like, I don't know. It, it, it's like... It's, it's your aggro control creature deck, which I'm not really sure is right up my alley, but it's not really control. It's, it's a disruptive creature deck. Uh, yeah, keep this. Oh, no, we're not going to play that. Star of the Wanderer. The problem, yeah, the problem that I've always played with this deck is that it's just, it's just so clunky. You know, like, if you don't have an accelerant, like, we're sitting here with these three drops, that it feels kind of bad. For a dog, so there's no feeling when the dog sees food, so it they don't, it only lasts, we only do it for, like, you know, just, to, just so he gets approval, pokes in. The mono red control deck. I think that deck's actually good. I think it struggles against, uh, like, any deck with counter spells in it is kind of tough, but you can get in chip shots and bane fire them out of the games. I think we're playing against Dredge. I was right. All right, Lone, Blood Gas, Shriek Horn. All right, well, we're going to have to race, and our hand is not really set up to race, which isn't good. We're just going to slam this draw to catch in next turn. Crack for three. I would assume this is a pretty poor... I think this is probably a bad matchup overall, right? Because, like, yes, we have a nut sideboard, but it is so difficult to beat, like, a good... It's just hard to beat um, a good deck two, two games in a row after sideboard, no matter even if you're advantaged because you're on the draw for one of those. 
So I don't know. I, just, I can't imagine this deck being good against Dredge. They hit an Arc Amoeba. I think it would have been better for them to Faith the Looting before they activated this. Because, like, they can loot. But no, I guess, like, they could loot a whatever into the yard. There's another Arc Amoeba. Like, this is gross. Now these Narcomy was actually interacting combat, which is awful, and they got a amalgam. So am I actually gonna start reflector maging Narcomivas? Probably. So I can't attack. I could draw a card. I could draw a card. I could reflect a mage and then path something. But then attack. And if they go to block, like, I don't know, do some good old combat math. How was dinner, bud? Dinner was great, Dad. All right, get in here. Attack with the lords. It's gonna be so sad when I have to path one of these. No, no, where's no? Do I take off the before damage step here? God damn it! No, come on, can we give another? What the hell? <sighs> I love Moto. I love Moto. Now, like these are gonna come back. Oh my god. We don't have the we don't have the pressure. Though they're at eleven, so I guess it's doable. I was so used to having like I thought I had all the stops there. I must have taken them off when I was at KCI. Yeah, when I wanted when I was playing Ironworks last night, I just wanted the least amount of uh, stops possible. So they have one con flag. They have nine cards in their hand though. We're just gonna block this blood gas. It's not bad. Probably just main phase this. Wow. So I go big this, this, any order, or eight, path this attack, block, block, kill them next turn. Jesus. Well, that was nice. Oh, this, this gets them back. That's so. St oh my god, I'm all. Oh, I'm so dumb. It doesn't. It's not gonna matter because we're just gonna block out and be fine. But like I, and then that amount is back. I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. Now it's like a reasonable. Now we actually have to like think about our blocks. So we go block here, block here, block here. Take six. They're just, are they not playing? They didn't hit any creeping chills. This is something that like I struggle with as a magic player is I have not registered the card Path to Exile in probably three or four years. And if I don't get practice in, I just forget how the card impacts across the format. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mess things up like that up all the time. So they deal three to this, six to me. I'm at 12. Block, block, take three, three, four, five, seven, nine. So we're still in good shape. But I just still just playing like an absolute ass hat. Which is what I'm going to do. Like, this is, 
my struggle is that I cannot pick. This is why I'm I'm so hesitant on switching decks when I go to big events. All right, they hit two chills. Puts them to 12. Okay, so now we gotta think. They're at 13. We can only deal them 4, 8, 11. They can conflag to the moon next turn. They have five cards in their library and they have two chills in there. If I hit a lord, I kill them. They can conflag me for the loam. Loam up, go down, go to eight cards, go down to seven, go up to ten. They're going to be able to hit me for ten. And then if I go block, if so they don't hit Creeping Tails, I think I have to hit a Lord. Which I didn't. Attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, take two. Eat their board. I think I have to get an attack in. Attack them, they go to nine. Bounce this. They've got, play this. We're all checked out. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to bounce the amalgam. And then play a noble. And then hope. Like we totally don't deserve to win this game, but let's just hope that we do. Because theoretically, we're not taking any damage on the ground here. There's one chill. So nine. They loam up. And they kill me with 11. So I tossed that game. 100% tossed that game with the Path to Exile. They brought everything back. What a tilt. That's so frustrating. But that's going to happen. And again, this is like my shortcomings of Magic players. Why I never... I hardly... Like, it takes a lot for me to switch decks. Because I have to play so much in order to get a new deck. So it is not pretty when it starts. I think I burnt like 200 tickets learning to play KCI. Something like that. So we want Rest in Peace and Thalia on the play. Cards we don't want is Phantasmal Image. Probably Reflector Mage. Because Image can get uh, browned by... Whatever the dumb card is, uh, Dark Blast, and it can just get like mowed down by, um, and it can just get mowed down by Conflag. We have 28 viewers. I appreciate you all for hanging out, watching me fumble through this. We're gonna play at least one more league tonight. We might play more, but. I would like to play first. And I think I'm going to keep. It's kind of sketchy, but we can get a rest in peace down early. But you would need exactly Dark Blast. And Dark Blast, I'm going to get brown. But 
Rest in peace plus Thalia should be pretty solid. How's it going, Tom? Yeah, we're playing Spirits tonight. We're changing it up. Played Ironworks last night. Spirits tonight. Might play Phoenix tomorrow. Do you got it? No, just leaving. Hopefully they ditch some good stuff here. Ditch two blood ghasts. Nice. All right, scoop it up. Yeah, we're out of the comfort zone, and it's shown. I've just made some boneheaded plays that I just, like, haven't registered Path to Exile in a long time. Went to go Path to crack my opponent for a lot of damage. Path, uh, I pathed, like, a Narc Amoeba or something like that so that I could, like, swing in to kill him next turn. Oh. Well, that's good to know. We're going to keep it the same way. It's not really a play draw matchup. Um, what I do, I then I returned. I put, like, because I wanted a path to attack to put my opponent dead on board next turn. I returned, like, 12 power to the board because of the landfall a turn early, which just, like, fucked me up. Look at you, Tom. Learning what Magic Online names there are. Not much, Dark Mage. How are you? I should make Tom a mod. How do I do that? I right click on their name. All right. Tom has a sword. So we're on the draw. We can play Vile and we have double rest in peace. Noble Hierarch's a good draw. We have 19 lands. Noble Hierarch is 23. Birds of Paradise is 24. We have 24 out of 53 and two looks at it. I'm going to keep And even if they have a hate piece for the first one, we have a second one. And, like, if it gets down to a cripple fight, like, we're going to win that game. Opponent moles to two. Gas. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Jeez, went down the wrong tube. Let's see if we got there. <coughs> that was kind of unfortunate. But one, two, we would have missed. <coughs> we would have hit on the third turn. But. We severe we thoroughly outplayed our opponent in the second game. <coughs> hey boy. Jeez. Hey boy. Dude, that's how you win games of Magic. So we're playing against Daryl Ayers, which means we're probably playing against Amulet Titan. <clears throat> and we have to keep this hand. I can't imagine we have a very good Amulet Titan in our show. I think that's a bottom. That's bad. All right, let's get our... I don't think this deck plays Explore anymore. No, nope. Moto's doing Moto things. Are we going to get tightened? 
We're gonna get Titan on two on three. No, on two. No, it's gonna be Trigger Mage. Trigger Mage with the Walkie Boy. Walkie Boy is bad news. So they have Slayer Stronghold. Walking Ballista. So they can Ballista for a lot next turn. <clears throat> They're just gonna Ballista my whole board away. He's just going to like three for one me here because he's just going to keep bouncing it. Like he can go bounce land, make six mana, seven, eight. And he can just wipe my entire board. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Are you trying to show Johnny how to play? No, I just wanted to play it. No, I'm just actually dead. He said, I'm coming for that booty. I can't, like, what's he going to do? He's literally going to Ballista me, and he's going to Ballista, he's going to make six mana a turn. I can't, I can't beat that Ballista. Wait, I can play Selfless Spirit and Mausoleum Wanderer, and he's just going to blow me out. All right, I think we're going to go, I think we're going to go to the next game. Right, I can't win here. Right? Like, I have a whole handful of X1s. And then I'm not going to do anything for four turns. He's going to put a counter on this each turn at minimum. Yeah, like, I'm just dead. Like, worst was the worst. He just puts a counter on his Blista for the rest of the game and attacks me. I'm just dead as a doorknob. <laughs> That's so bad. I couldn't do anything. Because, like... Oh. Oh. All right, so I'm assuming we want Knight of Autumn on the play. We probably want Thalia as they have some spells and Thalia might tax them, but that's our that's probably our worst card. worst card. Selfless Spirit. That's the next one. Not good. Yeah, but like they literally Delray, they just completely wipe my board. I have collected company and lands in hand, and that's it. At best. So like, I, I can't beat that. All he has to, he doesn't even have to, he doesn't have to do anything. I just can't beat it. So, cards. These are the cards that we kind of want. Though Thalia doesn't actually sound that great because they, they're, they play lands. Oh well. It's probably just Reflector Mage. No, probably Reflector Mage is decent on the play. It's probably just some Phantasmal Images. I think Phantasmal Image is probably pretty awful. So let's just bring in one Thalia, cut the images, and go like this. Karn. Just bang. Nice bounce land. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like, like that's my best play, Delray, for sure, is to just pass. Because if I play anything, the Ballista just eats it. But, like... All they do is go bounce land, bounce land, bounce land, bounce land, make eight mana, play Ballista for four. Then for the rest of the game, I don't I actually just don't think for the rest of the game I can beat bounce land, bounce land, bounce land, put two counters on the Ballista. That's my professional opinion. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. Like, we don't quite have Accelerant, but we have Lord and the Lord. I don't, I don't think we can mulligan this. I'm going to play the Breeding Pool tap because I actually don't want to fetch because I would like to draw a third land. Just 
excuse me. <clears throat> there it is. All right. So we draw a land, but we're just going to jam lords for the rest of the game if we don't. Or at least for two turns and lose. Oh, yeah. I, I literally don't think I can... I think I could... If my deck's a path to exile, like, I'd have to stack my deck as, like, path to exile. I don't think I could beat him stacking my deck. Because, worst comes to worst, Daryl has all of his mana unlocked. And they have an Azusa as well. Because I need, like... Path, Reflector Mage. He needs to not draw Teleria West. Or I'm just dead. <clears throat> I just have better shit to do instead of getting destroyed by a Ballista. Delray, do we have any confirmation yet for uh, double amulet? Okay. Okay, Simic so Growth Chamber. So that they made their land drop. Here comes Azusa. EE for two. Okay. Now, like, Night of Autumn's not even good. I can't even... Ugh. Bang. If he goes to blow this up, I'm going to path it. How's it going, Vend? All right, well, there's Teleria West. Make blue mana, make blue mana. Trinket mage goes gets walking blister. Just want to say that both teams played hard. I can't even spell color this right because he's gonna go play growth chamber, untap. Because he makes enough mana where it's too large for this. <clears throat> Get an island. I guess we can try to slow down this. We can smoke one of these amulets. The problem is even if we kill an amulet. Oh, the um, did you get anything going on for the team event in uh, in Baltimore in February? We've been holding off, you know, seeing what you were up to. I was wondering. I thought I remember you were talking about we were texting about uh, you know in January. I wonder if it's even right to do that. Like, I might just be a big dummy, and it was right of me to just try to blow up the walking ballista instead of just trying to, like, pound this amulet and go over the top of them. Yeah, that's, that's tough. It's tough when you lose, like, a good teammate with someone that you communicate with. Like, I can't play with Tom for the first six months of the year because he's, like, an actual adult and has a hard work schedule. Oh, I just got this bad boy for two. Okay. Land. On time. Can't even play the spell caller out here. I 
I probably, yeah, like, you're right. Like, I probably should have waited and tried to blow this up with my Knight of Autumn. But, like, if I just get Primeval Titan, I'm just dead as a doorknob. He goes, plays Bounce Land. I'm, I'm just, like, super dead anyways. Like, I can't beat this. Right, like, play Phantom. Then I still am sitting on these explosives. He goes, hit explosives, play this untapped pact. So, like, at worst, his turn is, like, trade one for one with me. So I guess I just got to play it. And that's just packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be there in spirit. Yes, you will. All right. 2 3 the first league. Wasn't good. I didn't play very well. But maybe I was supposed to mulligan more with this deck. Like, maybe, because I kept a hand that was, like, kind of disruptive and aggressive, but didn't have the...